Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Ava Trade Live Q&A webinar. My name is Daniel, and I will be giving you the webinar today. Before we will begin, as always, we are going through a quick uh, sound check and a visibility check for the chart. So if you can please comment in the question section that the chart here is visible and the sound is in the proper level, you can comment in the question section. Thank you, Albert. Okay, great. Okay, so I will explain what will happen in the webinar in every step. Okay, and of course, as I always mention, this is a live Q&A webinar, which means you don't have to wait for anything to ask your questions. Okay, you can just write them down and I will address them accordingly. Um, it doesn't matter which topic I'm, I'm uh, teaching. Okay, so let's begin. The, uh, we are going to begin with the common questions that our team has gathered. That means that those are uh, popular questions that we get from this webinar and from other previous webinars. And then we will have dynamic questions, which as I uh, mentioned just, just a minute ago, you can ask questions along the webinar and I will paste them and then uh, do my best to give you an answer. And this part is a little more informative. Uh, I'll send you some links here to save you the time looking for certain things. And lastly, analysis. You all know that this is a privilege only if time will allow us or we're not going to get questions about analysis here or here. Okay, then we will cover in a nutshell how analysis works. Okay. And that's important to know that any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar is provided for informative purposes only. It should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice recommendation or a suggestion. Okay, so let me uh, tell you that the webinar is recorded. Okay, so if somebody needs to see it again, another explanation, another uh, time to recap certain things, of course, you can find it in, uh, on our YouTube channel. Usually it goes up uh 72 hours up to 72 hours from the moment that we finished might be even today okay so i'm gonna go for a few moments to make sure that the webinar is recorded and then we will begin thank you very okay so we are back and it seems like everything is aligned uh, we are going to open with, like I said, the uh, common questions. Uh, let's let's read them. Okay, uh, who can I address with questions regarding trading? This is the first questions today. Uh, the first question today: Who can I address? Okay, that's easy to um, to solve. How does technical analysis works? You see, I had a feeling we're going to get question about analysis. What is what is entry point? What is what is the entry point or my okay? What is entry point? Sure. How can I withdraw my funds? Okay, that's also a very very easy one. How can I receive signals? Okay, this might take us a few minutes. Okay, no problem. So we're gonna begin with the easiest. Let's take okay. Let me just show you how to withdraw, guys. It shouldn't take more than half a minute. We're gonna paste our question in our uh, notepad right here and let me switch also from the demo account to the regular one hold on it just makes sense that i'll switch from the demo to the real because obviously we can't withdraw from the demo right just going to give it a minute. Okay. This is, it's taken a moment. There we go. Okay, so I hope that everybody can, can everybody see my screen now? 
I don't know if I changed something. Well, I hope I didn't. Guys, can everybody see my screen? Maybe I just got to open this one. Will it work? Oh, there we go. There we go. So how to withdraw? This is the first question that we have received. Uh, how can I withdraw my funds? So all I have to do, as you can see, there are three lines here. So I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to click on payments. And then I will click withdraw. Okay, so that's very, very easy to do. Okay, let's wait for it. There we go. Then I'm gonna click on wire transfer or maybe card if I want card. Then I'm gonna put my name and everything. Then I'm gonna click next. Okay, in this case, uh, I'm not gonna put my details there, but once you've done it, you click next and that's it, you're done. Okay, you're just waiting for confirmation and then your withdrawal should receive, you should receive your withdrawal within a few days. Okay, right, so let me switch back to demo. Hopefully that won't take as much time as it was with the real. Well, that was pretty quick. Let's see that you can see my screen back. There we go, there we go. So. As I said, we're gonna put the solution here. Log in to avatrade.com. That's the first step. And then click on payments, then click on withdrawal, and that's it. And maybe choose your method. You don't really have to put it down, but it's still. Why not? Okay, so this is the first question that we've answered. Who can I, this is also very, very easy. So uh, regarding trading, you can ask for a senior account manager. Okay, um, you can contact your senior account manager. Okay, or the customer service, if you don't have an account manager. I'm gonna put here um, contact customer service. To assign, to get a senior account manager assignment, right? Right, how does technical analysis works? So technical analysis uh, is one of two kinds of analysis that we have. We have technical and fundamental analysis. They both they both equally important. Okay, we're gonna take that and paste it over here. Okay, so technical and fundamental fundamental analysis. So technical will be everything that is in the chart, fundamental things that are not in the chart, meaning events, news, articles, everything that basically has an impact on the market in some way or another. Um, okay, so this will take a moment. I'd rather begin with that. And we're gonna use an example. We're gonna use an example of a report to show how it works. Okay, let's just take Okay, oh I don't have to do that. So you can see that if even if it was like that, this is by the way the web trader, I always forget because it's to me it's obvious, but this uh, interface is embedded in the website. So you don't have to download anything or install anything. You get to here just by logging in with your email and password. If it doesn't look like that, you should contact, uh, contact customer service and they will apply it on your account. 
Okay, so one of the things that is wonderful about this interface is that you have the economic calendar right here, okay? On the left-hand side, you have those couple of uh, some icons here. And one of them, one of the menus is discovery. Under that, you have economic calendar, um, which I can filter or by search. In this particular case, we are going to go with the new, uh, the uh, closest event that is this Friday. Okay, which is July, as you can see, this is uh, the fourth uh, tomorrow. Okay, non-farming payroll, as you can see here, this is the uh, new job supplied to uh, the market, the impact here is very, very high. Um, we have we have previous forecast and actual, previous forecast and actual. So that means, as an example, we're gonna fetch, I hope that I can do it. Oh, apparently I can, that's great. Hopefully that as well. Okay, and the actual is still obvious unknown. Uh, because this is US, one of the US events, how do I know? Because there is the symbol here. There is the flag here. There are flags uh, down here that I can filter by the things that I'm more focused. This is, for instance, it's marked UK. If I take it off, Okay, it's gonna show me everything, in particular if I want US, which we had. Uh, okay, we are marked on that, the importance here is high. Okay, and then we have the actual, which we still don't know. Um, because it's a US event, so the impact is majority on uh, USD, right? Now let me ask you, because this report signifies how many jobs has applied beside the farmers and the agriculture uh, jobs, so what do you think will be the impact, what will be the impact if forecast, uh, sorry, if actual is, I don't want to exaggerate, but let's, you know what, it's just, a, it's just a question anyway. So what do you think will be the impact if the actual is 250, this maybe, hopefully this will help understand the report a little better. This K stands for thousand. So did I do it correctly? Yeah. So this is the less time that we had it, this is less month. This is what we expect to happen. And this is, the question mark is still unknown. What do you think will be the impact on the dollar? Right, if the actual is gonna be 250,000, which means higher than the forecast and higher than the previous. Is that a positive thing or not? What do you think? It's a positive thing. Thank you, George. So I want to see more answers. You guys think it's a Kevin impact will be good for the dollar? Okay, okay, okay. Why is that? Why will the impact will be positive on the dollar? Because who knows? The improvement, okay, which improvement? Yeah, yeah, more jobs, exactly, more jobs. So if the actual is 250,000, we have an improvement, not just an improvement, it's also higher than the forecast, right? So if, for instance, that will be with, let, let's suppose that it will be like that. Yeah, will, will that be positive or negative? Let me just change it here, yeah. What do you think, will, is that a positive uh, movement or, or not? Okay, it's like the forecast, but my question is if it's not like the forecast, my question is if this is positive for the dollar or not. It's not, okay, 
because this is lower than the previous. So that means that it's not an improvement. That is less than before. Exactly. What about if it would have been like that? It's higher than the forecast, right? 200,000. It's higher than the forecast. So is that good or not? What do you think? We had, firstly, we had the 250, 250, which is higher, right? We, then we had, that's um, same as the forecast, but lower than before. Yeah, and now we have 200,000, which is higher than the forecast and lower than before. So, oh, it, so some people here wrote down that it's good, but still look at the numbers, right? The numbers is still that this is 5% higher right? 5% higher, almost. It's not 5%, but it's higher than, than uh, sorry, that's lower than the previous. So maybe it's higher than the forecast, but it's lower than the previous. Okay, never mind, never. I, I don't want to delay. I don't want to delay on that too much, but let's just understand the logic here. Um, it's still okay. It's still okay. Could be, guys. So I don't want to delay too much just to understand the idea here. It doesn't matter if it's uh, non-farming payroll and USD or something else that could just as much be, I don't know, Tesla, right? The idea will work, will work the same, the same way. Let's suppose they had, I don't know, 10 billion. Okay, a forecast is that what they will improve, let's suppose, like that. Then the actual is, I don't know, 12. So obviously, if there is an improvement and it's higher than that and higher than the previous, so could be positive, right? All right, so that's technical analysis. Let's put it this way. And technical analysis. Who can tell me what is technical analysis, guys? This is a term we hear every day as traders, technical analysis. Who knows? Let me, what did we looked at yesterday? Like yesterday we had uh, wheat, palladium. Let's go, how is oil doing? Oil is doing okay. Very, very interesting. Okay then. All right. Chart work, okay, okay guys. Reading the chart, Catherine. George, it's all about the averages. Oh, well, could be, could be. Very possible. Um, oh, may, maybe I should I should also show you how to do that. So technical analysis, as George mentioned here, it's about the averages. Uh, Kevin, it's about the chart, chart work. Okay, so technical analysis. Now, when I'm looking at technical analysis, diagnostic, Diagnosing and candlesticks, yes. So when when we do technical analysis, the most obvious thing to begin with is called support and resistance. Who can tell me what is support and resistance? This is the resistance. This is the support. Somewhere here, maybe. Okay, I have a lower line here, but it doesn't really bother me. Okay, so guys, when you're looking at support and resistance, those are edge points on every uh, different time frame. So for instance, if I would look as an example on days, I don't even have those levels. If I look at months, months, okay. So I might end up having higher, higher uh, resistance levels okay maybe if i look at minutes so then 
I'll have different res resistance levels right here and here, maybe a lower one. Yeah. So we understand that support and resistance when people want to buy and sell. Could be, could be, could be. Um, so we understand that all of those all of those levels are uh, depending on the time. Oh, how can I? I don't want to get rid of all of them. There we go. Okay, so every every time frame has support and resistance. It's not just one on the chart. You have levels um, that you can rely on. Support is where price comes down and stays around. Yeah, moving either the same direction or different. Could be, could be. Okay, as an example, as you can see, the support here is 83.53, and the the uh, sorry, the support is 66.85, and uh, 83.53 is the support is the resistance. Why is that important? Who can tell me why is that important? I'm just gonna take a rectangle, and oh no, I don't think that I can do that. What a shame, because it's it's. It's still going, otherwise I could have, oh, there we go. Have I done it? Oh, well, that somehow that worked. <laughs> that somehow that worked. Okay, so this is, this um, this hammer here, well, I don't know if to call it a hammer, but this candle here is very interesting. Okay, if I look at technical analysis and I look at the trend here, what is the picture that we get? Who can tell me what's happening here? Before I will explain, gonna give you a few moments. This is the resistance, right? That means that oil now is heading towards the resistance. Okay? And if I have to, that might be future trading range indication, absolutely. Now I'm looking at the very bullish momentum here. Right, this is a very bullish momentum, very nicely, and uh, I could say maybe stably here. Now I have this guy, who is not really part of the band, right? He's red, he's bearish. Bearish meaning because a bear slam you to the ground and a bullish lifts you in the air, so a bullish candle is in go up going uh, candle, and bearish meaning a downtrend candle. Now. Whatever whatever I see here, you see this tail here and tail here, that means there is some kind of uncertainty, right? Now, if it created that, and I don't have this nice solid green candle, you can you see that, that, that candle over here? Look how nice the trend is. Just went up, no reversals, no retracement, just full, full the way up. Um, and now we have that. What? Is that possibly could be this tail here? Maybe I could just oh you know what let let's let's keep it this way. What is this tail here, guys? I think we also have a question about entry, which could can come handy here. What is entry point? Yeah, we're gonna take we're gonna take two two birds, guys, with a single stone. And what is it what is entry point? Guys, look at this picture. Would it make sense if I'll think that oil can turn around somewhere here? Would would it make sense to to expect to expect uh, oil to turn around? Oh, what did I do? Yeah, selling, taking control, maybe, maybe. So the my question, guys, is it possible that oil is going to turn around here rather than exceed and, and uh, go in any higher price was forced back down okay 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 so that means that right now is that a good place to sell or 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 a buy what do you think what do you think this price is suitable for a sell or a buy
Let me change to days. Maybe it will clarify a few things. Right, so this is how it looks uh, days-wise. We have, you see this nice motion, few ups and then down, few ups and then down, ups and down. Yeah, well, what do you think? Good entry to for a cell coming from uh, Kevin and Catherine. Okay, let's let's switch back to weeks. So what you're saying is, uh, and let me add another question on top of that. If this is a cell, shouldn't I sell here at the at um, let's say 82 maybe? Let's paid it in Ava Trade Scholar. Can we see that? Yeah. What do you think? Should I sell at the blue line or now? What do you guys think? Should I sell now or at the blue line? Hold on. Yeah, so as I was saying, it seems like we had a little technical obstacle, but we fixed it. At the blue line, okay, so some people say at the blue line, some say, some uh, people say here. Um, now, if I'm looking at the blue line, what's the advantage? Or just above the blue line? Okay, okay, but what what's the difference between here and, and the blue line? What, what will that give me, entry-wise? What, what is the difference? If I sell now, so that means that this price is something that happened this week, right? So it's possible that we'll go back to that price. Now, if I'm selling here and I'm aiming for, it doesn't really matter which price down, let's suppose that I'm aiming here, 75, and I have, let's suppose, let's go for a sell. Let's suppose we have 100 barrels, yeah? Look at the difference. Take profit, let's say 75. Okay, look at the difference. If I take it now, I make $438. If I make it at 82, what is this execute when price is? We're gonna see in a second. Then I make more. How much more? I wouldn't say double, but uh, maybe, um 70 percent more right i don't know exactly the figure but oh, oh sorry what did i do 82 yeah so that means that means um that i make more capital here now if this is the resistance and i'm placing my stop loss above the resistance okay let's explain let's explain what exactly that the uh the stop loss is um yeah so all of those are pending orders okay when we do technical analysis it's quite essential to include your exposure ratio your profit ratio and take profit and stop loss can come handy when doing that now execute when price hits is where you want the um the position to launch take profit Close your position automatically when reaching the price, if reaching the price. And stop loss is closing it. If getting the price with a profit, or maybe I should have write it differently. Closing the position with a profit, if reaching the price. And stop loss does the same thing with the loss. Close the position with a loss. There we go. If reaching the price. Okay, so if I want to optimize my entry, I mean I could I could definitely sell here, 
if I want. I can take a sell here. But if I sell here, my way to the stop loss is very short. So if I lose, I lose only. I lose only 200 and my gain ratio is 700. This is almost as it's 7% out of my balance. That's not bad. Um, so that's about the entry. The entry is to optimize the safest place. And I know, like I said, that if it goes beyond the resistance, I'm safe. My step, uh, stop loss is, uh, let me just define it this way. There we go. Okay, if my stop loss is at the right at red line, yeah, so I can sell here. Here are my stop loss. I know exactly how much I can lose or gain. Okay, and this is how uh, I can optimize my entry. Now, this is also an example for technical analysis. Uh, one of the things that I can add to technical analysis is maybe Bollinger Bands or um, the ATR, okay? And if I do that, I can also know potentially if this is weekly candles, how much it can dive down. So if I'm waiting for 82 to become uh, 75 as an example, I know that it could take it approximately two, uh, two weeks, right? If I'm basing my analysis on that, five and a half per week, I'm waiting for um, seven, maybe less than two weeks, maybe a week and a half, but Never mind. You understood the idea here, right? So technical analysis is made out of many layers. I'm just showing it to you on a nutshell. Uh, I'm just going to put like George said here, averages, support and resistance, right? Pivot points and so on. Um, fundamental analysis will be more events, news, articles, and any news, um, any economic changes. Right. And I think it's quite suffice for us at this level. It's the entry point. Maybe I should have should have grabbed it together. Okay. There we go. There we go. So what is oh what is entry point? Entry point, um, the safest, um, the safest place to enter a trade with the lower risk and the highest gain value. Obviously, I can't really define it, but the entry point is where you want to take the trade. What price would you like to take the trade? So if I'm going to the mall and I want to get a two uh, pair of shoes <laughs> and I can buy it with full price or I can buy it with a discount, I would go for the discount. So that's my entry point. All right, so how can I receive signals? Um, in general, in general, the easiest thing to do is just to look for an asset on the list that I'm gonna show you now. Okay, there is, at the left-hand side, you have here signals. Yeah, and one of the things that I can do, I can just go manually across the list here, or I can, if I specifically I'm looking for an asset, Let's say, as an example, um, oil, right? We looked at oil a minute ago. Oh, sorry. Maybe you should clean the drawing. Yeah, and if I look for oil, 
crude oil. You see there is uh, some kind of tiny blue lightning icon next to it. If I click it, then it's going to show me it show it to me right next to the chart. I could go to the to to the signal lists, but this is if I want to search manually. If I want to see it from the uh, lists outside, I can just pick it from here, and then I can see the chart and the signal itself. In the signal, I can see what we spoke about: resistance, support. Um, even though it's putting a little different figures, but yeah, this is a different time frame. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, this could be very helpful. The signals are provided by the uh, trading central. Okay, uh, now to receive signals, to receive signals, you can try Ava Social, and in Ava Social, you don't get signals from the company. You get, um, you can copy somebody who is trading. So you can follow somebody. You can follow option one. I'm gonna put here signals provided by grading central on the web trader and the second thing is follow a trader on other social now what happens is if i'm following somebody so what what will happen is i will receive what he is doing and I can choose whether to do it or not okay in a later stage I can even link my account to his account and then I'm going to do exactly as my trader is doing but regarding signals I can get the uh, instructions of what he is doing and then to choose whether to do it or not all right this will be pasted here Okay, now we're gonna somehow, okay, great. And that can we, great, great, excellent. Now guys, um, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to write down your questions. Any questions guys will be, uh, will be appreciated. Okay, uh, beside things that we already explained, you know what, even things that I've already explained, if there are certain things that you want me to explain about, again, I've got I've got no problem. And in the meantime, until I receive your questions, I'm going to send some links here to help you um, find some things on our website. I'm going to paste it in the chat, the Education Center. This is the login and deposit. That is for the fact in the help center. And this is for the real account. If you had enough with the demo and you want to start moving, is the academy, which you can get through the web trader uh, directly. But still, you have the link here if you want. And lastly, I will uh, give you the benefit to get a free market review. Uh, premium market review um, yeah do we have any questions guys otherwise uh, I can give you the code here I can give you the code okay we spoke about analysis so there is really no need to go through that now thank you for sharing the meeting do you allow term buying off a stock mm. this is a uh, this is a good question. Uh, just a second. We'll paste it here. How do you find? This is a good question. Why didn't it let me paste it? Oh, there we go. I have noticed most uh, trade idea. 30 minutes chart. What do you think about day's trade? Yeah. Okay. Mm, 
those are very very good questions I recently did course that teaches me yeah 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 absolutely absolutely look so do you allow um, absolutely you can trade um, stocks with CFDs I'm gonna show it to you now you can trade long term with stocks uh, you can trade stocks long term okay um just remember that you have something called swap when you're holding it for a long period of time you're paying swap okay so i'm gonna put here a uh, holding a position it doesn't matter if it's stock or something else holding a position overnight will be charged with swap which is overnight fee. Okay. Now, how does that work? How does that work? Let's suppose that we will take which one from the stocks. Let's look for something interesting. How is Boeing doing? Okay. All right. Unfortunately, I don't think that it will allow us to do that now because the market is closed. It will take two hours until it will open. Let's just find a swap percentage overnight. There we go. This is yearly rate. So that means that for a year, if we are selling, we will have um, 0 0.91 for a year. So that for a unit, by the way, for a unit. Now, if, if for instance, oh, but I can change the units. It's very unfortunate. Let, let's just let's just say that it's uh, as an example, it's going to be 100 units. Okay, as an example. So we're going to put the question. Where is the question? Yeah. Now we're using Boeing as an example. We're using Boeing, and the value for Boeing is 231. Let's say multiply 100. It should be here. Just a second, guys. We're going to do a quick calculation together. Yeah, so 231 multiply 100 shares. That's 23,100. And if I'll multiply that by 0.21%, that's 210. Okay, for a year. This is what happens in a year. Yeah, according to the number that we see here. So I can take this position, but I need to consider how much profit am I going to make on that position and to make sure that the swap is really worth it. Okay, otherwise I can end up paying more swap than the, than the profit. So this is the solution. Uh, of course, you can do long term. How do you find your older trading history on Ava, Ava MT4? Mm, this is a good question. Look, uh, typically I would tell you just to go to here, positions. Oh, sorry. It's not going to show it here. See, you have history here. This is the web trader. And then you can just filter from where till where. You can go even uh, this year or whatever you want. And in MT4, it works very much the same. It just in a gray area at the bottom, 
you just need to categorize the time that you want. Um, yeah, well, or you can ask your uh, senior account manager for that, if you can find it. How do you find? So I'll say, um, filter the times that you wish to see the history or ask, ask your for the report. Yeah, one of the two. Uh, I have noticed, I have noticed most of the trade ideas for preference forex trades are think about day charts. Look, uh, who wrote me that? Okay, one, okay. Right, so listen, the the trading style is something that you must you must decide on. Okay, Dra day trading, day charts and day trading in general requires you to be on top of most of the things. So people who scalp is an example, they trade momentarily. They don't trade over weeks or months. They just open a position here and now. They close it. Could be a few moments after. It could be a few minutes after. Um, day trading, that means that each and every day, look, let me show you the calendar again. So we will understand what is day trading. You see, if I go every, I wouldn't say that every day we have something, but it's, I mean, the news are um, never quiet. You know, the news are never quiet. So day charts and day trading could be challenging, but could be also very beneficial. The question is if you are able to maneuver. The question is if uh, th that's like the difference between catching a, uh, I don't know, a frisbee, right, which flies across a week, or catching a tennis ball that is just a, a meter away, right? You throw one meter away, it's maybe it's, uh, and then you catch it, or you throw it to somebody five meters or 10 meters away, which the, fly, which the ball flies in the air, you've got time to catch it. I hope you understood my metaphor. So, I, I can't say if day trading is good or not, obviously. I can just say that people who can maneuver with day trading, they could be then a beneficiary, but to go to the other way around. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said here, intraday weekly. Um, is very popular. Okay, um, I don't know what what to say other than that. Okay, so those are the questions, guys. Do we have any? I hope that it it that the answer has uh, helped you somehow. Uh, Kivan. So, do we have any more questions, guys? We still have ten minutes to go, which I am willing to give you uh, the answers for your questions, but. Uh, if there are no more no more questions, we will wrap it up for today. Any questions, guys? Okay, 30 minutes trades are much quicker to do. Could be, could be. All right, guys. So it seems like we've got no more questions. If if this is the case, please can we do analysis on gold? Um, in a minute, just in a minute. Just in a minute, I don't want to, actually, we've got time, we've got time. We've got time, and therefore, <laughs> that's crazy. Let me see if I can increase it. Ah, there we go.
Okay, let me just keep it as is. I don't need to rephrase it. Just keep it as it is. Um, gold. So just on a nutshell, how is gold looking at? All right. So you don't need to be a genius to know it's heading down, at least for the weekly. Well, it seems like for two days it's been down. It seems like, as I said before, we have here the support line. We have another support line. Although, like I said, the NFP can change a lot of things. Okay, so those are the levels that I see. We also have the other way around. And it seems like now gold is in a, now in, is in a downtrend, although we never know how long, uh, how far down can gold possibly go. Let's suppose that tomorrow, tomorrow is the NFP, the non-farming payroll. So if the dollar will come positive, uh, it's possible that gold will keep declining and then it could reach to one of those, uh, one of those uh, support line. Okay, otherwise, as you can see, it's already showing signs of retracement. And although those candles are bearish, still we have those tails, which could be a sign for reversal like happened here, okay? Uh, therefore, we could never know that, but wait until tomorrow. Wait until tomorrow is just less than a day away and then everything will be much clearer. Um, yeah, I hope it helped, uh, Simon. Okay, so it's been a pleasure, guys. As I said before, this has been a very pleasant webinar. Thank you for helping me with the questions and with the answers. I appreciate you guys uh, joining, and I'm just gonna give you this lovely uh, Q&A benefit which you can give to your senior account manager and get your own premium market uh, review. That's it, so uh, have a good weekend and uh, make a lot of profits. That's it, have a good day.